In this lesson, we'll look at a couple examples of how we can animate between color themes in Lumos, one example where the nav always changes to the color of the section we scrolled into, and of course our hover states and active states update to match. And we'll look at another example where when we scroll into a section, the whole page animates to the color of that section. And we'll look at one more example where the nav can start in dark mode or light mode on different pages. And when we scroll down just a little, the nav fills in and animates to light mode. So for these examples, I'll be using GSAP, GSAP scroll trigger, and also the Lumos theme collector that collects themes from our different variables. We can animate any element to any theme. So here, this my card element is animating to dark mode, and this color themes is being collected from our theme collector here. We could animate to light mode, or if we had a brand mode, we could animate to brand mode as well. So we could easily say on hover of the card, animate to any theme we want. And in this case, I'm looping through every section that has a data theme attribute. And when the top of that section hits the top of the screen, we're going to animate our nav wrap, which is the class I have on this nav bar, to be whichever theme that matches our section. So if our section had a data theme dark, we'll animate to dark theme. Otherwise, we'll animate to light theme. So all we have to do for that is give each section a different data theme attribute. And when we scroll into view of this section, the nav will change to that color. Now, the second example is a little different because when each section scrolls into view, we want to animate the color of the whole body. Now, to do that, we're going to give each section a data animate to attribute, and we can pass in if we want it to animate the body to dark or light mode. So when the top of that section reaches the center of the screen, we'll animate the body to the theme of that section over a 0.3 second duration. So on this last section here, I have a data animate to dark. On this middle section, I have a data animate to light. And I'm not actually giving this section a data theme light because I don't want it to have a background color. I just want it to receive from the color of the body. And on this first section here, I have a data animate to dark. But on this one, I've actually given it a data theme dark because I don't want it to receive from the body. So no matter what the color of the body is, since this has a dark background image, I want this section to always stay dark. And all the buttons and hover states inside it should always stay in dark theme. And for the last example, when we scroll down even just a little, the nav animates to light mode. And when we scroll back to the top, it reverses to its original theme. And that original theme can change depending on the page. So when the nav is on a dark hero, we might set it to dark mode. When it's on a light hero, we might set it to light mode. So we can set the initial state here. I've given the whole nav bar a transparent background color. Then I have this position absolute sort of background div here set to my theme background color. And that way we can just animate this background div between a zero opacity and full opacity to make the nav bar transparent. And that way we don't have to animate the background color since the background will be animating between light and dark. So now that we have that set here in our code, we're going to say whenever we scroll down from the body by 100 pixels, we'll go ahead and animate this nav wrap to light mode. And we'll animate this nav background from an opacity of zero so it fades up to its full opacity. And when we scroll back up, it will just reverse dynamically back to whatever the original theme was. So that's three ways to handle color animations in Lumos.